How soon can 304s date after being born again? With all of this baggage, like, oh, I found God now, but really and truly, you don't understand how men think. Men aren't thinking, oh, she's found God now. Men are looking at your baggage saying, do I really want to get involved with God that? Heals. Like, it doesn't matter church or not. It could be God mosque. Heals. I don't care. Church, mosque, synagogue. It doesn't matter where you go. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. A recent video from the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel addressed the topic of women who have an extensive hot girl summer past with many guys, then go to church and find faith in the Lord. Amen. And then they tell the next guy they just started dating, of course, that they want to take things slow and wait till marriage for any bedroom fun. No, are you serious? That's that's the, I mean, you know, God might heal, but but the men don't forget. Yeah. And that's, and that's the lie, that's the lie that, that like, oh my gosh, I have a whole bit on how church markets being a hoe. I swear to God, I, I said this. <laughs> yeah, I swear. No, I swear, because this is what they do. They tell girls, you can do whatever in your 20s, you can get ran through, and then all you gotta do is apologize, mean it, and then there's a husband waiting for you at the end. How should that man deal with this scenario? In the comments section below the video, one guy brought up how he had a woman staying with him and he knew her history, who went to church, mm. found God, mm -hmm. then told him she wanted to wait till they got married before having sex Ooh again. Wee. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can keep this new channel growing. Of course, it's great that she found God but he wasn't on the same page. And awkwardly, she was living with him in his place. What are the rules in such a situation? Gentlemen, what would you do? And how is the guy supposed to know how genuine she is? For all he knows, she could be playing him for his resources while dating some other guy she's smashing. What if he never saw her as wifey material in the first place, just a dating convenience while they live together? Is he supposed to become celibate because she changed her mind? Is that not the same as a wife unilaterally deciding she no longer wants to have sex with her husband, making it a sexless marriage? There are a lot of good guys out there, good husbands suffering in silence like this. This is a tricky dilemma. But common sense has to prevail. If you're a woman dependent on a man who is not celibate, then you decide to become celibate. Are you ready to take care of yourself? You can't assume the man will just automatically be on the same page. You have to be prepared to move out. Let him decide if he wants to keep you, but you have to assume he won't be ready to become celibate. Do I have to repeat myself? In fact, such born again 304s should avoid dating for six to 12 months after making that decision. That includes not having sex, obviously, to show they are genuinely on this right path. Otherwise, a woman who just had freaky smashing sessions last night with some random dude, then the next night tells the main guy she's waiting till marriage, only makes a mockery of the faith. Such women should really think through the dynamics of truly being born again while in the middle of dating or living with someone who they have been regularly intimate with. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can keep this new channel growing. Until born again 304s are honest and open about their past, and any current relationships with guys who are not celibate, the apocalypse of good men will continue. Welcome to the Brother Apocalypse.